So I'm looking at this video on here. I get asked this question all the time and they, people want to know what is the best or biggest piece of gold that I ever found. This is definitely one of them, one of my favorite pieces. This is a giant quartz rock about the size of a cantaloupe that I dug that was pretty deep. It was a very painstaking dig and probably just as painstaking for you to watch it here in a minute as it was for me to recover it. I probably should have just stopped what I was doing and backed off and got a big old heavy pick out and just chopped the ground up and got this thing out. But instead I tried to use a little tiny trowel and a pin pointer and take my time to get this thing out. So it's a little bit excruciating to watch, but I apologize for that. But if, if you just kind of skip to the good parts, you get to see it come out of the ground and we weren't really able to enjoy it right away because of the mud on it was so thick around the outside of the quartz that we're hardly able to see how much gold was in there. It wasn't until we got home and put it in the sink and rinsed it off that we could see the amount of gold in there. It turned out to be a very beautiful quartz specimen just completely shot through, through with uh, gold. And I used a, a multi-tester, which is a electronics testing device that you can use to check circuits and capacitors and resistors and transistors. And basically, if you take the two leads from a multi-tester and in a certain mode, you can check continuity. And what that means is if you take those two leads, if they touch together and they make continuity, they touch, they'll beep like eep, 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 eep. So I took that and I took one of the leads and touched it on the gold on the rock and then no matter where else I touched the rock where gold was showing, I had continuity. That means that all that gold is connected inside there. Now I could have took acid and dipped this thing in acid and, and dissolved all the quartz away and it would have just left the gold. The quartz over time would just dissolve completely away and you'd have this big crazy looking piece of gold, which I guess at that point you could just sell as is or melt it down and sell it. But here's the thing. The, the quartz came out of the ground with the gold in it from Mother Nature and you have, not only do you have gold people that are interested in this specimen with gold in it, that, that are buying it or want it because of the gold, but you also have gem and mineral collectors because it is a gem or a mineral from the earth full of gold and it's quartz with gold. So then you have two different collectors that might want it. And then there's a third group even, maybe even a fourth, but the third group would be your museums and people that want to show off what gold looks like in its natural state because that beautiful white quartz contrasting with that gold just gives a really pretty look in a display case or in a museum. So anyway, having said all that, I'm going to have you guys watch the dig. And uh, before we do that, I want to tell you one last thing. I took this thing and weighed it using something called the specific gravity test. That's a test by which all pieces of quartz with gold in it are tested and by which the results of it are so widely accepted that all quartz with gold in it is bought, sold, and traded using this technique. So there are some people that may come into the comment section down below and say, oh, it's not exactly perfectly right. Well, it's good enough for most of us. There's other techniques you could use like an XRF gun and some other things, some X-raying. And But look, here's the thing, all of us that buy, sell, and trade Quartz specimens with gold in it, we do the same test, and that's how we like to buy, sell, and trade these. So anyway, it's accepted by all of us, and, and it's good enough for 99.9% .9 of us. Yeah, you'll see at the very end of the video, we weighed it using the specific gravity test, and I'll put a link down below in our uh, description to a worksheet. If you have a piece of gold with quartz in it, you can actually jump down there and use that worksheet to figure out how much gold is in your quartz as well and I'd like to probably do a video on that very soon. I'll probably do a little video where I teach you guys how to do this specific gravity test and how to use that worksheet. But for now just enjoy the dig. Um, it's like I said it's a little bit excruciating because it's I took forever to get it out of the ground but once it came out of the ground and we could feel the weight of it we knew it was something special. We cleaned it off and at the end of the video if you want to skip right to the end go for it. But at the end of the video, you'll see how beautiful it was when we got it cleaned up. It's just an, an absolutely incredible piece to have. And it's um, something I'll never forget. Like I said, it was many years ago when this happened. I remember that we got out and there was a giant storm bearing down on us and the clouds were just black from one direction coming at us. And we knew that there was a major thunderstorm coming. We only had a couple hours. We're out there, we're all beat up. And it was right at the end, we were trying to get back to the vehicles before that thing hit us and I jumped over a creek, small creek that had some water in it. And when I stepped over, I swung my machine. My machine was still on 
on the next bank when I stepped up, I swung on the bank and I heard what sounded like a really loud low conductor, which is a little bit odd for the machine that I was using, which was the MindLab CTX 3030, to hear a really loud, bombastic low conductor, especially this low of a number. And it, it just threw me off a little bit and I thought, wow, what's that? The only thing that could have been was maybe a big piece of a crunched up aluminum foil. And I just wasn't sure about this signal. I've never heard anything like that before. So I told myself, look, I'm tired. We got the storm coming and I'm working my way back to the car. If, if I kneel down with my pinpointer and I turn my pinpointer on and I drop it down on the dirt, if it goes off, I'm just gonna walk away because it's something right under the dirt and it's probably trash. If it doesn't go off, then I might stop and investigate it. So I turned the pinpointer on, kneeled down, it didn't go off. And it took me that, that much depth before the pinpointer finally started going off. And at some point I got down to a rock where it was just screaming at me and I took my thumb and wetted it and wiped it on the rock. And man, there was this gold showing right there. And I knew that I had a big piece of gold down there, but I also knew that it was in quartz. So then I you know, did all I could to get that thing out with my little tiny shovel. I should have got a big shovel or a pick and just hacked it right out, but I didn't. So it took me a minute to get it out, but enjoy this old video. It's like I said, bad lighting and a bad camera. It was a long time ago before all these great cameras that I have now. And I wanted to redo this video for you so you guys could enjoy it. Go ahead and take a look at it and let me know if you have any questions about uh, doing a specific gravity test or if you want me to do a video on that, let me know. If I see enough of you saying yes, show me how to do this specific gravity test, then I'll go ahead and make a video for you guys showing you how to do that. Otherwise, like I said, there's a link down in the description to the worksheet and you can find other videos on how to do that test. Anyway, I wish you luck out there. Have at it, uh, watch this video. All right, I could hear it from this high off the ground, but it was just a big conductor. And uh, I started digging and sure enough, this giant rock is right here. You can see it's quartz and just look at right, right here. You can see all through here. There's gold all through this rock. Can you see that? So I'm trying to get these rocks out so I can get a look at it. Um, I don't know what all is connected. It's moving a little bit here, I see it. But uh, here it comes, actually. It's a giant quartz specimen with gold showing. It's just going to be super tough to get out. A little finesse, maybe. It's wedged. Finesse ain't gonna do it. Let's try this direction. Come on, baby. nice to clean up just a big specimen look at the gold in here it's heavy too I mean it's crazy feel that <laughs> oh, man. nice and heavy so yeah uh, very cool though we'll clean it up and get some better pictures of it but uh and, and who knows what else is in this hole down here I was in a hurry thirsty it's late and I thought 
I'm not gonna even dig this and lucky I did. So anyway, cool, we'll get it cleaned up. I found this rock at the metal detector the other day and we're gonna do a, a specific gravity test on it. This thing is loaded with gold. You got it all cleaned up, you can see the, it's just, I mean, this thing is crazy. Here we go. This is this is how many ounces of gold is in that rock. Oh, oh, oh dude! Ten ounces. Ten. Wow. Point zero eight ounces. Wow, man. You take ten point zero eight times thirty one point one zero three. You have three hundred and thirteen point six.